I am Da Kuan Yin Sun. We will have one more interaction in this Ekaraya session. For now, we will conclude with the Padasanka's next question. Padasanka? I have a question which may sound really simple. Mm -hmm. The reason I ask this is twofold, really. I'm thinking of the Akonayan body, and also I would really like full clarification of this for myself. Mm -hmm. I've contemplated it a few times and would find it quite difficult, I think, if I was asked this question, um, to, to properly explain it. So however simple it's going to sound, and it's really simple, um, what is the nature of a soul? Why have you been contemplating the question? Well, I wondered if it would even exist in a tonal space. Uh, it does not, indeed. Yeah, that was going to be the second part of my question. So, uh, I can't quite know how to describe it fully and understand it technically, I suppose, uh, why this would exist in a vibrational mm -hmm. uh, experience. Mm -hmm. Knowing about the string of the oversouls we've learned and so, really, that was my question, to uh, understand that technically. Mm. Greetings to one, and greetings to all. I am Dagaya-san. Thank you, Pa Da San Ka Barak Solaris-san, for such a simple question. A soul, as it is expressed in this vibratory and also this tonal reality field, is ultimately a focal point. You have used words before like containers of love. A soul is a focal point that is birthed in cyclical sequences from oversoul totality to which it returns. A soul is a journey. A soul is a potential. A soul is not eternal. A soul can be infinite, but it is not eternal. It has a beginning and it can go on infinitely until its function, which I will describe in a minute, is complete. But at that point, its reason for existence ceases to be. A soul allows a focal identity of consciousness to be born an expression to be born and to be given a vessel. A vessel that you would not consider physical. Instead, it is made of energy. It is the only energy that has the ability to not disrupt itself, to not ultimately collapse as it exists in the tachyonic realm. Energy that normally passes through the tachyonic realm dissolves, as you know. This type of energy is in favor of the life force of consciousness itself and therefore can temporarily, but what you call infinitely, sustain the focal point that needs to be sustained in order for expression and expansion to occur. You are not the soul. The soul is a lens for your consciousness. It is considered in the vibratory reality the highest, most sought after point of completion. Hence, it is used in religious function and such from the human perspective. In other words, 
a soul, my dear Pa Da Sam Ka, is as far as the human eye can see. It is the furthest point that the human being can observe itself, but it is merely the beginning. It is a passage point, a passageway. You see? Yes. Does that answer the question for now? Most eloquently. Thank you very much. You are welcome. I invite you to consider my words and come back to me or any of us with a follow-up response to this. For as you probably will understand, I have given you the most abstract or introductory way that this can be explained. But it would be beneficial indeed, as you pointed out, for the Akiyasan and Akinayan student bodies to go deeper with this. One more thing. It is to be understood that the lives that you have lived, your original body owner identities, including the soul personalities that you have been given on the path so far, names like Lotus and Jasmine and all of these flower names, these all played out from that vantage point. If you see the soul as the lens and vibratory reality streams out backwards from it, all of this played out here. The signatures of Padasanka Dabarak Solarisan and others that have been given to you now. The passageway that you have gone through now leads to the fact that you are looking at this experience that you call a soul from the other vantage point. So you are in a way looking back at this concept, no longer looking forward or towards this concept. Yes, I see. Does this make sense? Very much so, yes. Good. Then that will be all for now. We will speak again. I am Dagaya-san, as the world spins. Dagaya. Dagaya.